Legally Fitness Center. Uh, we are providing online workbook workouts for our members this week, which we're super excited about because we've never done this before. But we still want to connect with you guys. We still want to be able to give y'all some workouts. And let me tell you, the ones we have so far are amazing. That's why I look like this right now. So this one's just going to be a weighted strength workout. It's going to be about 30 minutes. We'll do a quick warm up and a quick cool down. Um, what you need as far as if you're at home, you don't need a chair. You know that's just for me because I'm not weight bearing on this. But you're just going to need one set of dumbbells and an optional mat. Or you could just lay down a towel or just lay on your carpet. Whatever's comfortable for you. But that's all you're going to need. A lot of this you can even do without the dumbbells if you don't have those. Um, but please post how much you love our videos. We're looking forward to doing this for you guys while we're temporarily closed. We're going to start right now with our warm-up. So if you will clear just a little bit of space around you, we're just going to take it to a little step touch right here with the music. Good. Lifting those elbows. Keep it right over the 
shoulder. Four more. And three. And two. And one. Good. Bring both your weights down. Let's take it to the other side. We're going to rack that weight at the shoulder. Just this arm is working. Military press. Press it up. Pull that elbow down in front. Lift and pull. Again, no elbows coming out to the side. Straight down in front of the body. All the work happens in front of the body right here. Good. Extending straight up. Soften the elbow. Lower down. Going at your own pace. Remember, if you need to get rid of that weight, if it's feeling too heavy for you, just do some range of motion right here. Good. Straight up. Straight down with our last four. And three. And two. And one. Good. Press up and hold it for me. Now, if you're not into a lot of overhead work, Ashley's going to be showing a modification right here, keeping it in front of the shoulder. Let's take it to that hammer curl with the other arm. Good. Upper body is nice and still. So we're tucking those glutes in. Abs are pulled in. Shoulder is stabilizing with that top arm. So nothing is moving. We're just bending that elbow for five. Four. And three. Two. And one. Perfect. Lower everything down. I've got some combos for you right here. Okay, we're going to pull it into a deadlift. I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see. My feet are just about hip width apart. My arms are going to be in the front. I'm going to soften the knees slightly. I'm going to fold over to about the mid-shin area. Notice that I'm not letting those weights pull my shoulders forward, and I'm not dropping my head. I'm continuing to look straight out in front of me. I'm going to squeeze the glutes and pull it all back up. Once you're at the top, it's going to be an upright row. Elbows up. So it's two separate moves. Let's go all the way down to the deadlift. Let's squeeze and straighten up. Then we upright row at the top. Good. Take it over. Squeezing those glutes to come up. Good. In that upright row, you want to be sure you're not flattening out your arms. Your elbow should be higher than your wrist. Good. Nice form right here. Really putting the focus on those glutes. Sometimes when we're working out, we can just kind of go through the motions. But this is only a 30-minute workout, guys. We've got to get in what we can get in. So we're going to stay focused, keeping our mind on those glutes as we squeeze, and then on those shoulders and upper back as we lift. Here's eight. Perfect. Seven. Six. I'm with my friends here today, y'all. Y'all are my friends, and I'm so glad y'all are at home. But I've got Maureen Ashley here with me in class today, and it's been so fun taking each other's classes. I told them, like, I knew it before, but you guys give such a good workout, and I'm so glad I'm getting to work out with y'all. Two more. And last one. Good. I want to keep that upright row going. So let's keep it up right here. For ten, if you need to, we're going to go one arm at a time or drop those dumbbells. Here's eight. Good. Exhaling as you go up. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, good. Pull them up. Two, and one. Awesome. I want you to take it just to one dumbbell, y'all. Okay, we're going to do some balancing. Now, balance is an issue for you, and you want to move to your kitchen counter, to the back of your couch, somewhere where you are free to hold on. Please do that, or I'm going to show you some other modifications if you're going to stay in place. It's a single leg squat, so I'm going to pick up one foot. Doesn't matter which foot, we're going to do both sides. My weighted arm is the same one where my foot is up. Okay, so adjust that weight if you need to. As I squat, I'm going to take that dumbbell across my body. I'm going to stand all the way up and pull it back to my side. I squat, booty comes back, I go across my body, and I bring it up. Now, modification is to tap that toe behind you and squat here and lift up. You can also do this with no weights. The only thing we don't want to see is this. Boop, we're not bending over. We're bending that knee. Sinking back like you're sitting in a chair and standing all the way up. Good. Find a modification that works for you. Perfect. Let's go for eight more. Eight. Seven. Good. All the way up at the top. Six. Four. Good. Last three. Come on. Keep breathing. Three. Can you sit back a little bit farther? Come on. Two. And one. Awesome. 
shake it out a little bit, switch sides. You guys are not eating your chair, okay? You're just switching feet. Y'all know this is my modification right now. So again, the leg that I have picked up is the same as the arm that held your dumbbell right now. We'll sit back into that standing leg, take the dumbbell across the leg, and bring it all the way up. Again, tapping that toe behind you. If you want for your balance, that's what Lori is showing right here. Great modification, okay? Or move to where you can hold on to something. Good, keeping that nice, good, long back as you come down and back up, okay? Try not to round into the bottom. Keep that shoulder pressed in line with your spine. Great job, you guys. Last eight right here. Eight. Seven. Good. Keep breathing. Five. Stand it all the way up. Four. Getting a little wobbly. Three. <laughs> Two. Come on, last one, y'all. And one. Woo, shake that out. If you will keep that one dumbbell, okay, we're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than hip width. Your toes are gonna be to the front so your feet are parallel. We're gonna take that dumbbell right in the center. Okay, it's gonna be a squat with a bicep curl. So we're gonna squat down, taking the elbows close to the knees, bicep curl that weight, and then pull it back up. Now if that weight isn't heavy enough for you, feel free to grab your other dumbbell, okay, to squat. We curl and release before you stand up. Okay, squat, curl, release, stand up. Perfect, booty's coming back behind you here. Nice long back. Good, can you also do this without a dumbbell? 100% here. Just be sure you're holding. So keep that arm movement so you can know that you're holding that squat the right amount of time. Good, let's keep going. Down, curl, and up. Good. We're hoping that these workouts are gonna give you guys a break and some normalcy in your day. Because we know things are kind of crazy right now. If you've made a trip to the grocery store, you know things are kind of crazy right now, okay? So, we just wanna provide you guys with something a little bit normal. Hope you work out some of the stress, get some of those good antioxidants out of your system as you sweat it out with us. Last two. And last one right here. Good, bring it up. We're gonna take it to some lunges, you guys. So, grabbing your dumbbells still, just one. We're gonna be lunging back. You know my lunges don't look great right now because of my modifications I have to do. But I'm gonna demonstrate. We're gonna start with it wrapped, right here at our shoulder. You're gonna lunge back. You're doing a good lunge. You're gonna press it up to that military press. Pull it down, step back in. Same leg, same arm for the first several bits. Okay, so we lunge, we press up, we pull it in, we step in. Now if you're like, I cannot do any more overhead extensions, you're gonna do what Ashley's doing. Just a lunge and a step in, okay? No extension overhead. Just try not to rest your elbow on your chest. Hold it up so your arm is still working. You're just taking the movement out of it. Perfect, good. Be sure you're on the ball of your foot behind you and you wanna step back far enough that that front knee is not coming out in front of your toes. Okay, we're looking for a good 90 degree angle or close to it. Not perfect, but close to it. Let's go for two more, you guys. Same side, two more. Stepping back, lift, in, and up. One more, back, lift, in, and up. Good, shake it out, let's switch sides. So we've switched hands and feet. Go ahead and rack that weight at the shoulder. Elbow is down. Let's step it back here. We go to the ball of the foot. We lift. Down. And step in. Perfect. Supporting on that front knee if you want. Trying to maintain your balance. By only using one dumbbell here, we're getting a core challenge too. Which is always good to squeeze in with another workout. So this one is kind of a multifaceted toning exercise. Good. When you feel like you need to, take out that arm motion. Take a break, shake out the legs. Be sure you're stepping back far enough to give yourself a good lunge. Back, lift, perfect. 
perfect. Let's go for four. Yes. Very nice, you guys. Three. Two. And last one. Get as low as you can. Excellent job, you guys. I want you to take both your dumbbells. We're going to come down to our mat. If you're not using a mat today, and you're just going to take it down to your carpet or even to a towel, then go ahead and find that. Lay it out for me. You'll need both your dumbbells with you. I know you've been using one, so go ahead and grab that other one. We're going to start with just a little bit of chest work. Since we have dumbbells for this workout, we will use them for this. But you don't have them at home, I want you to flip over and give me some push-ups. Okay, nice wide arm push-ups. If you have your dumbbells, come on down with me. All right, take it to a chest press. So my elbows are gonna hover above the floor. My wrists are out over my elbows. We're pressing up straight over your sports bra, opening back out. Chest press nice and easy right here. You wanna exhale as you lift each time. Make sure that you're not holding those dumbbells over your neck when you're at the top of your press. It wants to be right over your actual chest. Good, we don't wanna start dropping those wrists in toward the body. Okay, we wanna open out wide, getting that maximum bang for our butt here with our chest press. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, Hands a little break, relax through the back. So I've got two. 
two options for you for this next one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show while you're resting for just a second. So, my knee here is turned to the front, so I'm gonna use my abductor and lift and lower. Lift and lower. If you don't wanna do it at the same time, y'all, separate it. It's gonna be one row, one lift. Okay, so you have two options. Either one works, okay? You're both getting the same muscle groups. If you're doing them both at the same time, it's just gonna be a little bit more core work happening for you. We're only gonna go for eight. Whenever you're ready, let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good, go ahead and sit back. Shake those hands out a little bit, especially if you've been on top of your dumbbells. Same thing on the other side. Either you're alternating a row and a lift or both at the same time. It's only for eight. Whenever y'all are ready, let's take it up right here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job. Go ahead and sit down for me. Last one is what I like to call a superwoman. Last one on our back. You're not done yet, okay? It's gonna be a superwoman because a superman does not use weights. But if you feel like a superman today, that is just fine. If you'll take one dumbbell with you, we're gonna take it to our belly right here. Our dumbbell's gonna come out in front of us. Now you have two options. Feel free to hold it right here, okay, with the dumbbell up and down. Or right here by the ends. I like the up and down for me personally. Your elbows are gonna stay soft before you start. Watch for one second. So it's gonna be a superman with the weight. Up, two, three, four, and lower. Two, three, four. Okay, Ashley's gonna show you the option if you're not lifting the weight. Be sure you are lifting those feet in the back as well. Don't hold your breath though. Okay, we wanna keep breathing. In four, three, two, take it up. Four, three, two, one, and down. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, up. Two, three, four, down. Two, three, two more sets, you guys. Up, two, three, four, and down. Two, last time, let's go. Four, three, two, one, down. Awesome, press it back. Good, that is almost our time. One more standing position for y'all. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Good, find a little bit of space. Okay, working on our balance again. We're gonna have one leg up. Okay, both our dumbbells, palms are going to be rotated to the side. It's going to be an outside bicep curl right here on one leg though. Okay, so you pick, you can either tap the toe, okay, and find your balance right there, or pick that foot up off the floor. Rotate those palms, elbows in, and we're just curling. Okay, now if you need to, you can go one arm at a time, alternating. You can also take that toe down to the mat for the floor for your support right there. You can also try to lift and lower if you want to incorporate just a little bit of balance work. Okay, it's gonna be for four, or three, or two, and for one. Good, switch your feet. Okay, I'm gonna have my toe tap this time because the chair isn't that supported, y'all, let's face it. Okay, outside bicep curl, lift that foot if you can, and curl it up. Good, pulling those abs in. No arch in the back. Okay, standing up super tall here. We don't want to kind of sink.
I'm just going to pull it down right here. We'll start with the shoulder stretch. Okay, reaching that one arm across. Make sure the shoulders press down away from your ears. Good, just relaxing those fingers. No more holding dumbbells for right now. Good, let's open it up. We're going to stretch out the chest right here. Good, fingertips pointed back behind you, really flexing those wrists. And let's take the other arm across. If you guys have done all three workouts with us today, we want to thank you so much for being such a loyal member. I know some of y'all do three classes in one day. So we hope we've given you a good combination here of classes today. We'll have new ones for you tomorrow and until we're back open again. Hopefully all these videos work out perfectly. This is our first time to do this. So we are hoping everything goes smoothly. We appreciate your patience if it doesn't go smoothly as soon as we start it. But we are trying our best. And we know you guys are too. Going to switch your arms. Good. Go ahead and bring it down. Quick quad stretch. If you want to hold on to something for support, feel free. We're just going to pull one foot up in the back. Make sure that these stay close. They don't have to touch, but they're close together. We're really tucking those glutes forward, pressing our hips to the front of the room. Good. Standing up tall, finding your balance. Legs may be a little jiggly. Okay, let's take it to the other side. Same thing. Good, watching that knee. Make sure it's not hanging out way out here. Pull it in a little bit, straight down, right under the hip. Good, bring that heart rate down here. Let's go ahead and take it to a parallel position right here. I'm gonna reach both arms up, and we're gonna fold straight over, coming all the way down. Knees are soft here. I do want you to go ahead and release that head all the way down. Good. Relax your shoulders here. Don't feel like you have to keep them in line. If you're a yoga person also, you know this is your rejuvenation pose. So not only is it a great stretch for the hamstrings, but it's a really good stretch just to release all that tension in your back. It puts space back between our vertebrae and releases all the tension in the neck as well. All right, soften your knees. We're going to roll it up right here. Nice and 